Hey guys, Prediction Hub, and today's video is about La Liga. There's two games left to go, the end is near, and just like last video with the Premier League, I'm going to be predicting how it all ends, who will be the champions of La Liga, who will go down, who will be relegated, all of that and more in today's video. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you where I think everyone is going to finish, and let's get into today's video. We're going to be sticking with the same format as the Premier League video. So first off, we have to address the relegation zone. And let's just get the obvious out of the way again. It's awfully similar to the Premier League where Norwich were finishing bottom. But Espanyol will finish last. It's actually already confirmed that they will finish in 20th for this season. They're already relegated. I think they've been really bad this season. I hate to put it that way. But I just think they do deserve to go down into Spain's second division. And I think joining them... It's going to stay the same. I think Leganes will finish in 19th. They haven't, they've been better, but they haven't been that good either. And I think it's going to be really close for 18th. Mallorca is sitting in 18th. And, you know, Alaves have a bit of a lead. But I think Mallorca has more momentum. And they will give Alaves a run for their money. But I think Alaves will just survive. And I think Celta Vigo will survive too, along with Alaves. And I think that's it for the teams in contention for relegation. So I think that will be it. I talked a little bit too much there, so just in case there's a little bit of confusion, just to make it clear, I have an already relegated Espanol to go down, and joining them I think is going to stay the same, and it will be Leganes and Real Mallorca to go down as well. So now we go on to the middle of the table. This is an interesting one because in my Premier League video, I didn't have that many mid-table teams because there was a lot of teams fighting in the relegation zone and also fighting for a European spot. But this season in La Liga, it's a little bit different. I have a lot of mid-table teams that aren't really fighting for anything. I actually have seven and in no particular order, they are Ibar, Real Valladolid, Real Betis, Levante, Osasuna, Granada, and Valencia. I think these teams are just going to finish in the middle of the table. I want to talk about Valencia because they were in contention for European football, even Champions League. But ever since the restart, they've really dropped off and they've really had a lot of poor results. I think they've only gotten one win and it was by one goal. So sad to see that because I really like Valencia. But they are going to have an average season and they will finish in the middle of the table along with those other six teams I mentioned. And now we get on to the juicy bits, Europa League qualification, Europe's second division tournament, who gets into it. Again, unlike the Premier League, we have a bit of an interesting situation here. I have eight teams that I haven't mentioned yet. And right now I'm going to talk about four teams who I think will finish in 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. I think in 5th and 6th, it's pretty clear Villarreal and Getafe will finish in these positions. They got a bit of a points gap ahead of them. So I tip them to finish in 5th and 6th and get automatic Europa League qualification. Right now sitting in 7th is Real Sociedad. They've been really good all season, but they have a hard two games ahead of them next and have been poor since the restart. And in eighth right now is Athletic Bilbao, who I think have been really good, really solid defensively ever since the restart. And I think Bilbao will get it ahead of Sociedad. They will get seventh, which is Europa League qualification. I think Real Sociedad are going to collapse in these last two games and will not get any European football. And now on to those Champions League spots. This is a bit of a boring one, unlike the Premier League, because we actually have our top four already confirmed. First or fourth will all finish in the top four by the end of the season. Fourth place Sevilla is on 66 points, nine points ahead of fifth place Villarreal, who is on 57. And that is mathematically enough to get them over the line and will get them UCL football. I want to say something more though. I will actually put in a bit of a fun prediction here. I say Sevilla... They're on the same points as Atletico Madrid. They're all on 66. And I think Sevilla will actually finish in third. And Atletico gets in fourth. Atletico usually always does well in La Liga. Most of the time getting second or third. But I will actually think they will finish in fourth this season. But that's what I think is going to happen with Sevilla and Atletico. Now I want to say what happens with the champions. And now there are two teams I haven't talked about yet which are Real Madrid and Barcelona, the two teams contending for the La Liga title of the 1920 season. Real Madrid are on 83 points, four points ahead of Barcelona, 
quarter on 79 with two games left to go and just to put it plainly i don't see barcelona overcoming this gap it's too much with two games left to go you can only get six points out of two games and i don't think real madrid are gonna blow that they've been really good all season and after the restart i think their players have been amazing like vinicius ramos who is on 10 league goals and courtois who has had an amazing season he's kept 18 clean sheets in the 33 matches he's played for real madrid which i think he's bounced back since his mediocre 18-19 season so it's really good to see him well and you know with players like these i think real madrid have the title it's in the bag and i think real madrid will be the 1920 season champions and i think this is really bad for barcelona because setian has been knocked out of the copa del rey and now loses the league title i think he's going to be put on, on a lot of pressure and i don't think things are going to look good necessarily but we will see how barcelona does in the champions league in august and i think that will be the deciding factor whether setian stays this is the end of the video now guys i want to thank you guys for watching for listening for staying this long this video was a little bit longer than my premier league video give me you guys feedback on that or anything else in general do you like my videos long do you like them short what else can i do if you guys can also like comment and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and with that said i will see you guys in the next video